Uh, hello everybody, this is Russell Lowe speaking. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to open the level uh, that I created in the first tutorial, the one with the uh, uh, gridded texture all over it, and uh, change that and uh, change some time of day settings and uh, modify the terrain uh, and add some trees. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is open up the editor um, and go file and open that um, uh, recently created uh, level here and then as you can see uh, this is the level that I created just before uh, the first thing I'll do is go into uh, terrain and texture and uh, this is the default layer, you can see the gridded pattern all over everything um, I'll double click on this and call it grass and then uh, click on the material that it's using this opens a material editor and I'll scroll down to the terrain part, open that up and select grass go back to this window again and go assign material and you can see that it has changed a little bit let me close these down but you can still see uh, you can still see the the major grid lines and you can see uh, that it's sort of whitish and faded so let me open the that back up again let's change this grid thing here by clicking on this one to the left hand side changing it to gray going open and uh, sometimes that makes us get uh, go away but now we've got this sort of set up what I might do is quickly create a new one add a layer and call this one uh, pebbles uh, click on the materials tab again and uh, go into terrain where are we there we go and uh, pebbles let's try pebbles 01 uh, go to here, go assign material and you can see it's changed the material there, so that gives me two materials to paint with uh, for the time being, uh, what I'll do is now go into the terrain tab under the roll up bar, and go to the layer painter and you can see down the bottom I've got grass and I've got pebbles, so let's do the grass first change this colour to a light greenish kind of colour, go OK uh, hit apply to that and then scroll up a little bit and whack the radius out of this let me zoom back out, I'm using the S key to zoom outwards and uh, you can see now I can left click and paint paint on the um, paint on the colour won't paint the whole thing because uh, it takes a couple of minutes or a few more seconds and it's not really that necessary and now I uh, can zoom in and I can see the grass is actually looking green uh, let's go and select the pebbles uh, give that a kind of a brownish color drop the brush size down a wee bit and you can see I can paint on pebbles so I'm just using the left mouse button to uh, paint and the and the right mouse button to look around and the WASD keys to actually move you can do things like change the brightness down to a darker color hit apply and you can see you can get some quite nice uh, variation and spend a lot of time painting this up to get the effects that you might want. Okay, uh, hit apply to there. The next thing I'll show you how to do is uh, change the uh, terrain itself. So hit modify and then I'll zoom back out again. Uh, the one I use most is flatten and uh, you can see outer and inner radius 
slide radius and you can see it's sort of going up is my uh, radius there is currently set the height is set to 1 so if I set it to 100 it'll bring things up to 100 uh, what's kind of cool is that you can just hit the control key and select a height and that will either bring it up or down to that particular height now one thing that sort of frustrates me with the new build is that you can see that things are getting sort of blurry off into the distance um, I'm going to hit escape and change that so go terrain and time of day now this is a fantastic editor and it's really complicated or complex um, you might not see so many things so I've just turned the toggle advanced properties so that's uh, uh, that's the standard amount if you hit advanced properties you get a whole bunch more and if you scroll right to the bottom and change the step of the field setting to 2000 you'll see that things are a bit crisper in the distance and it doesn't feel like you're sort of looking through smoky uh, smoky glasses uh, so back to our um, layer painter flatten let's choose let's choose sort of this level again control and left click and you can see that I can make quite substantial changes to the to the terrain uh, very quickly okay so the next thing uh, I'll quickly show you is hitting escape to get out of that is uh, putting some trees on this thing so if we go to the uh, vegetation uh, tab and we need first to load up some uh, vegetation objects or add some vegetation objects so I just click that button uh, to the far left there add vegetation objects and this opens me into this folder rocky ravine uh, but you can see the file path there objects natural vegetation rocky ravine I'm gonna choose these three types of vegetation I'm gonna click on the beach one gonna set it up by going 0.5 in the variation that'll make them a bunch of different sizes uh, hold click on cast shadow the bending's quite cool let's set that to three and uh, now I can uh, make sure it's selected crank my brush up hit paint objects and you can see I can paint these things these beech trees all around the level uh, let's do that with these other ones this one's got uh, leaves on it change that to say 0.2 and the uh, turn the shadows on again and uh, bending you know you can fit around with all of these things as you like now you can see that the cast shadows are, are going straight down at the moment um, but if I grab the uh, terrain and time of day uh, controls again and slide this across you can see that I can change the shadows and even get some beautiful sort of uh, beautiful lighting effects through the trees uh, let's just jump back into the world Oop, I'm a bit high so hit F3 actually lets me fly and so now I can watch the sun go down through the uh, uh, through the trees. I'll just swim over there. Okay, so the next tutorial, I'll show you how to uh, create a custom model in SketchUp and bring it into the uh, into the uh, level you've just created. I've just hit F3 a couple of times so I can fly and uh, we miss the sun going down but we have got the moon up and some stars twinkling away. Great. Thanks for watching.